Rob, what yeah. does it mean to have Sean back? Oh, great. Oh, big time. Sean Lee? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's great. You got him at the sandbacker now. And it just knocks off some reps for him in the game. And then he's got the versatility to do everything. And he's a, he's a warrior, man. When he moves to that position that doesn't play as often as he did before, are there conversations that you guys need to have with him to say, hey, look, this is why we're doing this, or these are the way we can earn more snaps? If we this is the way things? we get you know three really good players on the field at once, really good players. And uh, so it, it's, and then he's also has the chance to, at Mike and Will, in the rotate situation there, guys get tired. So we'll get his reps, and hopefully we'll keep these guys all healthy. Does his skill set, because he's played, oh, he, fit at what you guys I want a Sam linebacker, or does it change at all what you guys ask your Sam to he, do? He's a real football player. I mean, it, it looks good at what he's doing out there, really good. Does it, are there, what are the different job requirements from Sam to Will, which is what he's been doing? Yeah, and, he's a little bit more out, outside, but when we're stacked, you know, it, it, there's a lot of similarities. He gets pulled out of the uh, out of formation once in a while, but he also when at will he got pulled out of the formation. So it's a lot of carryover. Do you get that excited with in a setting like this with seeing interceptions? Well, it, you know, interceptions. You know, I, I'm I have really all the physical part. Yeah, you know, you got to But the interceptions and stuff you like because that's they're playing fast at that point and see a guy catch it. That's what you like. In his hands, catch, tuck, and show some speed. So yeah, that's been good. We've been punching them out pretty good and whatever that means for right now. But And we're, we're starting to catch them. So that part I like. Are there more, you know, you haven't, you haven't seen, you're not going to see DeMarcus for a while, Byron for a while. Do you view that as a, in a, as a good thing in any kind of way because you're getting some looks at guys that maybe. That's if there is one. It's These guys have gotten a lot of looks. You know, so we're really able to evaluate. It's hard to evaluate without pads, but a lot of reps to get them prepared for camp. And uh, so you look for that, and it's, it's great. It's been good. Because then the, once you get to camp, the uh, reps tighten up, squeeze down a little bit. George played in Cincinnati. I'm sorry. George played in Cincinnati. Was he more of a free star? How did you, how did you view him? Yeah, I, you know, he's he's a guy, It's his his game's really going to happen, too, when he gets pads on. He's thumper now. He's a hitter. And uh, he can do both, but, boy, I think he's really good in the box, too. Physical presence. Would you be okay if you had to in a pinch? Oh, heck yeah. Because yeah. he's done that. Before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he can do both. Yeah, he can do. So it's uh, it's, it's exciting to have him here, get him going. It's the strong side. The strong oh, side big time. Like oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's, uh, it's exciting having him here. Can't wait to get pads on. He said he's still learning the way you guys want to play Sean Because yeah. he said in Cincinnati he played a little bit back. So what's some of the challenges today? You know, he's down there in the box, and it's just run fits or run fits. But, you know, communication skill, all those things, just a little bit different here and there. So, uh, but, no, he'll come. What kind of energy come. is brought to a team when you go from year to year? And new pieces are added to, to the roster. Oh, yeah. I think it's great. Yeah, it's, I think uh, one uh, promotes competition, too. Everybody's like, oh, boy, I better best be on top of my, you know, and we brought in some good competition, I believe. You know, we'll wait to camp. But uh, I think the energy is good, and you, you can feel it. Chris was saying that there's really no such thing as an incumbent. I mean, you know, everybody's going to have to earn it. Oh, yeah. Guys come in, and it's that's that's one of the keys we've always been on defense. Guys come in, I don't care where they come in, got to go in and, and prove your worth, prove your soul. Once you hand it to them, it's, it doesn't mean as much. What, what progress have you seen on defense going up against uh, you know an offense that has so many different tools, uh, you know, on you know wide receivers and obviously in the yeah. run game and everything? Yeah, you know, I, I like where we're at. It's been good. I always say this again: we're in no pads. So I, it's when they run the ball, everybody's just you know bumping in there a little bit. But just I, what I'd like to see is how our are the new guys that we're playing this fit into our package really well. And that's the thing where everything we're doing is getting ready for camp. You guys had a really really good defense last year. What mm-hmm. areas do you want to see the defense? Takeaways. Got to get more takeaways got to, to be a really elite, elite defense. 
that's a that's an ingredient. How do you know about? Just work on it every day, and we brought some guys in. He's got some good ball skills. That really helps. The pass rush keeps growing. You know, it's a stat like 65% of all takeaways start in the pocket. So that's the rush. You know, and the pressure and tips and high and all those things, you create them or the sack fumble, you know, and then we got to strip the ball out. At this time of year when you're not in pads, what do you want to do? Like, what can you do to try and get better at this? I, I think that if I use these alignment, what my assignment is, what's my key, where do my eyes go, learn this technique and takeaways. So all those fit right now. And now we get to camp. Now you put the pads on to do the same thing, but it's now the physical part of the game. Have you seen Robert Quinn progress the past few weeks? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, he's he's got some juice now. He's got that first step. He's a uh, he's a, he's a, an established pass rusher in this league, and so he's going to bring some good stuff for us. When someone like that comes in and is already established, how much of a transition is there to get for to him? Us? You mean? Yeah. I, I think I just think he's got his priorities right. He learns, he fit right in with effort, and how he hustles. And, uh, you know, you work with a guy like that. You don't work against him. I had Simeon Rice come in kind of the same way in Tampa. And you find out what he can do well. And then you build off of that. And how would you describe what Robert can do well? Oh, God, I mean, he's, a, he's got a, a really a nice edge to him. And he's proven that over the last eight years. I don't know how many years he's played. But uh, he is showing that. And uh, so it's uh, it's going to be good for us. You'll have more meetings this week than during OTAs, but has he been vocal in meetings so far? You know, he's quiet. You know, he's kind of a quiet guy and uh, listens extremely well, notes. Boy, he's on his, you know, he's a real pro. He comes out here, he knows what he's doing, comes out and works really hard. Really like that about him. Who did, who did you have Tristan Hill watch? Tape of. I know Sapp was one of oh, them. Oh, yeah. I, think I had there Tommy were a Harris. Oh, Tommy, yeah, was I had Tommy was coming in. A little bit of Henry Melton when I had him up in Chicago. And uh, John Randall. You know, I keep all those old tapes. How does that help him watching those guys? Well, he sees the fi- what I always like seeing the final product. What does it look like? That's what it looks like. Okay, so you, you see it, you present it to him. The end in mind, that's the end. Right there. Now, here we are starting here. Okay, now how do you progress to that road to get there? But you have a clear visual picture of what it looks like. Now, for these young guys, it's the day to day grind now. Get to camp. When you, yeah. when you no. show old footage of players, is it only guys that you've coached or is it guys that maybe you've admired? Most of my guys I've coached, but then I'll cut up guys I've watched over the years. I got miles of this stuff. <laughs> and let's say a guy has a certain move. You know, and then I'll, I'll get the tape. Of, let's show the real details. Like, it's like Simeon had a great long arm. You know, I had him anyway. But now you can see what the thing really looks like, you know, the details of it. And then uh, I just cut up a lot of guys over the year. I've kept all this stuff.